Hello everyone. In today's video, I would like to review a very unique Linux operating system that tries to implement the design of Google's Fuchsia. Now it uses Flutter in order to implement everything and, and you know what's interesting? This operating system is running from a web browser. There is also a physical copy which you can install on a pen drive and directly boot in your system. Finally, you are greeted with this logo of Dahlia OS. After the boot up, you get this general uh, screen that is there. As you can see, the animations, they are quite smooth on uh, VMware. Well, whatever, but the uh, resolution is very small. So let's see the supported resolutions. Okay. And we have one zero uh, eight zero pixel, and that should fix the problem. And finally, we are having the full resolution here. I hope there are no changes in the performance of the operating system. And pretty nice. Let me just remove this part. And there we go. Finally, you boot into Dahlia OS. As you can see, the applications that were all cut out in the official web version of Dahlia. Uh, they are all enabled here, but much of the applications actually don't work properly and they are not complete. Talking about uh, unfinished applications, there are many. So let's begin from the desktop and there are pretty cool wallpapers to choose from. Like here, this one can be choose as the dark mode wallpaper, as you can see. it uh, And even the start button, uh, the, the taskbar and all changes its appearance according to the wallpaper, changes the color uh, according to the wallpaper. And there are also other nature wallpapers and others to choose from. And you can also put the wallpaper URL here in order to choose a wallpaper from the internet. So you can also use a Bing wallpaper. But on right clicking, you can see that the menu is actually blurring out the background that is there, which looks kind of cool. Now you can also access the settings from here. Even in settings, this part is blurred out and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the Wi-Fi it, uh, is disabled as of now. You can enable the Wi-Fi and connect to Wi-Fi devices. And uh, since I'm on virtual machine, I don't think it will be working from here. But um, on the uh, bare metal where I have tested this out, there it works. And even the Bluetooth was uh, showing it is present. Although I didn't connect any Bluetooth. And as you know, I have an external Bluetooth chip and it was not detected by this uh, Linux system. You can choose Wi-Fi preferences which is incomplete as of now, saved network incomplete, Wi-Fi data usage for a month has not yet been implemented. Um, Ethernet you can enable or disable the Ethernet from here. You can choose virtual private network that is VPN. You can add VPN from here which is probably not yet complete. There are two modes in customization that is the light mode which is this one and the dark mode. The transition between between the light and the dark mode is very smooth. A smooth one. You can uh, change the location of the icons that uh, you can choose the start or the center mode. There are two modes that are there. There's the start and the center mode. And also you can change the window border radius which is currently set to 12. Probably it will be implemented in the future updates. They are also colored title bars and you can also make them transparent colored title bars as you can see here. So that is one effect that you can enable. But without the colored title bar, I think it looks much better. And also you can uh, select a theme from here. Let's select blue or any other color like this one. For the time being, let's stick with the blue color. In display and there are all these options have not yet been implemented if you talk about display sounds lookout notifications applications none of them currently work there is a developer mode but it also doesn't work on enabling it I don't find any new options that pop, pop up here so in the about device page there is a, a logo that is a Dahlia OS and talks about the environment of the Linux that it is using which is Linux 5.17 
and uh, the desktop is the Pangolin desktop. Fun fact is that this same Pangolin desktop can be installed in Ubuntu, can be installed in uh, you know Fedora and any any other operating system there you like. Well, that is a tour of the settings application. There are also other applications like the Files app, which seems to not respond to the uh, color change as of now. So also no folders are showing up here. So it's not yet complete. And we have the terminal and terminal also comes with NeoFetch installed. So let's, let's just, let's just uh, type NeoFetch and you can see it shows up everything here. Just as you can see in other terminals. Um, to install or delete packages is not yet probably supported because there is an RPM command that I found and uh, I I did dig around a little bit with uh, this operating system and I just couldn't understand how to install a new package so I could not end up installing OBS also I couldn't download anything from the web browser and talking about web browser uh, let us just open the default web browser provided in this provided in this uh, operating system that is this one and uh, startup of certain applications look a bit weird as you can see in this one you see see that and it kind of uh, feels like this part of the application is uh, different from the entire operating system as you can see there is no consistency in the title bar and it's a kind of web application that is being implemented here so if you just click outside it just goes away and for returning back you need to press alt and tab and then get it back well whatever you can just uh, search for um, the web and all you can visit any web pages but unfortunately you don't have the back button so you just need to go looking forward and you can't look back also there's nothing called history so you are very safe and also you can't download anything from here so you you just can surf and view whatever you want. This is a basic, uh, very crude implementation uh, to be called a web browser. There is a web app manager, which I thought is a kind of store, but it seems that you can install other applications from here, which includes Visual Studio Code, there is Discord, there is Google Search, there's Townscaper, and uh, Dahlia OS Documentation, Minecraft Classic, and uh, you can just click on install and it will install them instantly as you can see in the application menu so we will explore them one by one there is a calculator app which looks like one that has been taken from android uh, let us do some simple calculations you get those keys with the ripple effect well let's go to other uh, other applications that are there there is a text editor which is uh, kind of looks like the one from google docs there are other applications like the graft and the interesting th thing in Craft is that it is uh, it seems like a virtual machine manager and it implements several things like QEMU, KVM, CHROOT and more and it, it has a pretty clean user interface. You, as of now none of them work, you even can't create a new um, virtual machine out of that. Then we have the media which seems to have a number of icons of Dahlia OS and none of them open but they can just be selected and unselected at one go, which seems to not unselect everything. After that, we have the clock application. In clock application, it basically shows you the time in hours, minutes and seconds. And in the alarm part has not yet been implemented as of now. The side menu has a setting, which has also not been implemented. Then we have the welcome screen, which talks about how you can you can get around with this new operating system. It also shows a warning sign that you are on a pre-release build of Dahlia OS and some of the features may not work as intended. Yes, many of them are not yet implemented and the build is very much incomplete as of now. As of now, let us explore the other applications. There is Task Manager which seems to be, you know, uh, incomplete as of now but uh, we have a task manager kind of thing on uh, terminal light right? on Linux if we just type in top we can get all the stats that are there and the amount of CPU that it is using so basically uh, it it has a very low CPU usage and you see 
around two person when it's idle sometimes it gets up to six or two it remains uh, under ten probably uh, whenever it is in an idle mode now we come to the downloaded applications there is Google and Google is also uh, just made up like uh, the one web browser we have let, let us just search for Dahlia OS and uh, as you can see it takes forever to load anything whenever I search on Google uh, there are several games you know two games are there that is the townscaper and Minecraft um, they work pretty amazing the rest of the user interface is sometimes glitchy but uh, games absolutely work very smoothly so if we just uh, start up townscaper I don't know whether it will work properly inside a virtual machine finally it is up and running and uh, let us see how it works and performs in a virtual machine it's pretty smooth over here I don't think you have anything else to do in the game like this you just need to keep on building stuff one upon the other it's a kind of simulation thing and it works pretty well as you can see I'm just creating one after the other well I'm not into gaming into gaming and I don't know anything from there uh, well whatever uh, at least just for testing I just opened this application to so show you how things work now we have the visual studio code and about these applications I don't know how they are implementing but if you just uh, try to if I just try to go and open the terminal there we have the terminal and see terminals are not available in the web editor so this is a kind of web editor version that it is currently running and for the minecraft uh, it actually it's showing very showing them very weird in this uh, virtual box but it worked completely fine when i ran it there on my bare metal well there are other options settings you know you can power off or on there is a grand search tool from where you can search for apps let's search for browser and there we go it appears there is also a menu bar which might come up it's currently not yet implemented there is a workspace kind of thing from where you can see uh, the number of desktops and workspaces you're currently using and uh, as of now the screenshot that is shown there in the as an icon for the first workspace is not using the current wallpaper that is there now you can uh, even minimize the start menu the application menu so that it looks a bit more compact over here you can uh, also pin or unpin it much of the features are yet to come you can directly open settings from there or you can just log out and there is another quick action center from where you can connect to Wi-Fi the Bluetooth you can turn on or off the airplane mode you can select a kind of theme that you want from from the menu you can select the language you can turn on or off do not disturb you can also have several other uh, shortcuts like events yeah, a website a web page you can change the volume the brightness and others uh, the volume and the brightness I don't know whether they are been implemented or not the brightness probably has not yet been implemented you can also edit the icons to arrange them accordingly and uh, I think uh, as a conclusion is that this yet is not a complete one and obviously there are several flaws that I can point out there are several several flaws but it, it would be a good thing to point out now because this is a very early stage an early version of Dahlia OS but what this can possibly become in the future is a kind of uh, you know a kind of Chrome OS kind of thing it has uh, web applications there are several web applications in the system so uh, it can also probably if it can run Android apps it will become the Chrome OS kind of thing for Linux a Linux version of Chrome OS now let us just uh, assume that the developers will fix all the problems the user interface is still a bit glitchy it's low it just takes away the fun that is there overall this looks really pretty there are so many rounded corners um, implementation of colors and uh, blur backgrounds they work 
great. And since this is based on Flutter, opening and closing of applications, browsing through applications, they are very fast. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.